Hello guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to uh, tape up the spokes on a Rally 2 Pontiac rim. I've already cleaned it, sanded it, masked off around the tire. The tires are still on here. And it's a little harder to do with the tires on, but the final effect is uh, worth it. And uh, I use a blue painter tape. Sometimes I use the yellow frog tape. And I use one of these. It's a, it's a scalpel that a surgeon uses. These things work great. The blade stay, the point of the blade stays sharp forever. I've already done three wheels. This is my last one. I thought I'd share with you guys how I tape it off to get ready to spray some of the black. Like I say, I've already sprayed the silver. Uh, and let it set overnight. I always let them set overnight, at least 12 hours before I start masking up. So that way it don't pull the paint off. And this, this blue tape right here works great. Like I say, sometimes I use the yellow frog tape. It doesn't have near the sticky uh, glue to it. But if you use a good quality paint, and I use, I use the dupe color. This is the clear here. But I use the uh, dupe color paint. Works great. Let's get started. And what I generally like to do is just tear off a small piece and put it against the rim. Like this. So that way it's, you got part of it up on the rim, part of it on here. Sorry about the bouncing around, I'm trying to set this up where you can get the full view of the tire. So again, that's the way I start putting the tape down, and I take my thumbnail, and I run right around the edge of the spoke, where the spoke and the other part of the rim come together, and that gives me a good line to use my scalpel. And I just take the scalpel, and I barely cut through the tape. I don't bear down hard. comes right off. I do the same on the other side of the spoke. Use again, use my thumbnail to make that crease. And then I use the scalpel. Lightly go over it. And that's the railing around the inside of the rim. And to do the spokes, I just tear off a small piece like this, probably two, two and a half inches long. And I cover the spoke, and again, use my thumbnail on either hand. And generally, it takes it up around over the, the point of the spoke, which is a lot trickier to cut than the straight arrows. But as long as you take your time, and just enough pressure just to score it, to cut it.
ZipRecruiter.com slash rock. Time for another beer run. Race to the Dash, driven by Harry Buell GMC, continues April 27th at Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. Run, walk, or jog a fun 5K around the scenic beer-making campus and toast your achievement at the finish line. Sign up now at the A2H.com slash race. Thanks to MB Haynes, Trader Joe's, Hard Exercise Works, and Lasan Pappas. The voice of proceeds help reach real estate agents combating homelessness. Race to the Dash at Sierra Nevada, April 27th. Sign up at the A2H.com slash race. We never punch out. Come to think of it, we've never punched in. Hey, are we getting paid over here? All the time. 105.9 The Mountain Rocks at work 24-7. That's one spoke generally has a place here that a small piece of tape will cover up. One spoke down, four to go. Okay, after we get everything masked off, then we're going to ready to spray some paint. And uh, I like the Dupa Color engine enamel. Uh, the gloss black stuff's pretty awesome. Drives fa dries real fast, so you're able to put your wheels back on within, I would say, two hours. So we just give a, a white coat around. I usually cover this in about three coats. Now what I do use is I do use a heat gun to help speed the process up in between because this engine enamel drives good with heat. It tacks up very well. It's going to take but about you know, 30 seconds of heat. It's just old cheap Harbor Freight heat gun. I think I give like nine bucks for it. Worst decent though, I've had it a couple years. prefer to paint these rims the same color as your automobile or paint the centers of them the same color you can do it with an airbrush I've done it with an airbrush before but sometimes the good old rattle can works especially if you use good paint Okay, we're going to let that tack up about 10 minutes before we put the final coat on it. We'll be back shortly. Alright guys, after everything's been painted, 
this is the other wheel I painted. Uh, I'm letting the other one dry before I pull the masking off and clear coat it. But this is what, what it looks like. This is dry. It's been drying for about three hours now. Uh, I'm about ready to put it on the car. I think I'll wait till in the morning uh, to make sure it's, it's good and cured. But anyway, that's the way I like to do them. Again, you know, you can buy the masking tape or the masking uh, diagrams to go over them. And I've tried those and I've used them a couple of times, but to me, they were kind of aggravating because you're having to line everything up perfect, you know, having to stick them and unstick them. And, and it's just, I like the tape better because once I cut around it, it's done. So anyway, guys, I appreciate you watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you don't, give me a thumbs down. Either way, I get credit for it. Thanks, guys, and enjoy your day.